Hello everyone. Well, here's a vacuum cleaner that's got some creative packaging, not in a box, but it's in a lot of bubble wrap and I think there is some cardboard. So hopefully this Zeebo Felix has arrived undamaged. I think it will have done because they're fairly robust. Are the old Sebos? And this is an old, it's a second hand one. And it's the Sebo Felix that I would, uh, well, it's called officially classic, but I would call it Sebo Felix Burberry. And you'll see why in a minute. Right, let's get this open quickly. We want to get looking at the vacuum, don't we? Now, this apparently is working, but the power head isn't. It could be a simple fix, or it could be something more serious. Oh, crack, there is a lot. <laughs> I'll save this uh, bubble wrap, I'll need some. Right, well. I'll uh, get this open, pause the camera, get this open and show you what's inside. Well here it is and uh, it stinks. I'm not looking forward to turning this on, I don't think it's going to blow up, but I think it's going to stink my living room out. Ugh, not very nice. It's in, I'd say, good condition. It's dirty, but yeah, I will definitely be needing a new exhaust filter. This is why I call it the Burberry design because it's very reminiscent, isn't it, of Burberry bags, Burberry clothing. This I can replace. Um, these are still available, the genuine ones in this design, and that is definitely something I'll be doing. I'll either be replacing or washing the pre-motor filter, giving everything a good clean. It is missing three tools. Well, it's missing the two small tools that fit here. I'll need to search a bit more for those. The cream, I'd want it in cream colour, a crevice tool and an upholstery brush. But I also got, after I bought this, if I can find it, here it is, hang on. It would have come with the matching parquet nozzle. This was sold as in uh, very good condition. It's not as good as I expected. I mean, it's okay to go with this, but I found another one after I bought this, brand new. So I bought that as well, and it was only about fiver. So I thought I'd have a new one. So this means I can take off the ET1 power head and convert the Sibo Felix into a suction only cleaner for hard floors. You can, of course, put a carpet and floor nozzle onto the end as well. So you can use it for suction only on delicate carpets. And of course it's got the built-in hose. So let's uh, take a close look at the Felix, starting with the ET1 power head. It might be easier to show you if I remove it from the cleaner. So this power head isn't working. Now we'll find out if that's uh, an easy fix or a replacement needed. I think personally it could be an easy fix. What I'm thinking may have happened is it's cut out and uh, or it's switched off. <laughs> that will be the uh, easiest thing. The other thing that I've noticed, if you think your power head isn't working there's a little micro switch inside where the hose goes in and if that's faulty or it, it's, it's not uh, down then this won't function, it won't come on. So we've got four position carpet height control. So you can adjust it for various lengths of carpets from low pile on setting one up to longer pile on setting four. Now this nozzle also comes with some SIBO canister vacuums, including the E and D premium ranges. It's just the same. And I've used my D uh, cylinder cleaner with the power head on this plush carpet and it does work but on setting four and I have to reduce the suction as well, otherwise it does cut out. You have um, a switch here, it's a little hard to operate with your foot, but it turns the brush roller on and off. And you've also got a little indicator light here that tells you if the brush roller has become jammed, that will go red. It also tells you if you've got the nozzle height too high for the carpet. This is the uh, lever to lower 
the handle lower the neck and underneath I mean it, it's not bad condition this I'm surprised it's not working the brush roller plenty of life left in that but if I wanted a replacement I can buy one genuine easy to get hold of and if I wanted the soft brush roller you can also buy a softer version these are quite stiff brushes but you can buy a softer brush for that and that's a little wheel that moves up and down according to the height or is it yeah it is moving and the little inspection flap to see if you've got a blockage and it's 175 watts this power head I'll check on the wattage of the machine it will be a higher wattage than the Felix machines you can buy now okay so that's the cleaning head in comes the cleaner itself and yes I'm I think you know this will clean up very very well including the hose I was looking to replace the hose again the hose in this color is a little bit harder to get hold of um, oh there's something crawling on it I wonder oh, it's a spider oh hello spider you're so small let me just you need to <laughs> right there we are you scared of spiders folks I'm not I, I just need to put you out the way there you go welcome to your new home because I think that spider was in the packaging all right I hope there's not a whole nest of them inside so yes um, this is a cream color hose I was just going to go going to a song then I just thought of cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels but that actually I was thinking of replacing it but looking at it now no I don't have to bit of a soak in some biological and it has to be biological washing powder the powder is better than the liquid soak in biological washing powder will clean most of that up and then might have to rub it a bit but it'll get rid of the smell and give it a good clean but you need to make sure it's thoroughly dried out before using it of course so there's that the motor is obviously inside here got a, also a matching brown cable with the uh, lower cord hook that rotates we can take all the cable off and on the handle here and again that's in pretty good condition if they get quite worn the uh, the indicator here can wear down you can't see what I'm showing you there we are so it's variable speed off and up to maximum and anything in between you've also got a hook on the back here a hole where you can hang the cleaner up and there's also a little rubber piece so you can lean it against the wall you don't need to lean it against the wall if you've got the parquet head attached uh, obviously if you've got the ET1 head attached it will stand up on its own um, right what else can I show you well of course we can have a look at the wattage of this machine so the serial number for the Felix is located under the hose support this is also the handle for when you're using it in a sort of handheld mode for cleaning your stairs so let's have a quick look at the rating plate so this is type SIBO Felix 1 HSN serial number S7800 1619 220 240 volts 50 to 60 hertz so it says a thousand watts I don't know what all these numbers mean <laughs> a thousand watts with the power head it's 1175 watts but the maximum is 1300 I'm sure these are advertised as having 1300 watt motors uh, Stein and Co blah blah made in Germany okay let's pop the hose back in the whole hose support on the top of the bag door got a piston just about there you can see piston style bag check indicator okay let's uh, open up the top there is a bag well, well that's stopping me from opening it because the handle is in the lowest position so we can adjust it there's a little lever here I can pull the handle up will it go any further yes it will so that's it and now we can have a look inside let's close the bag off in case there's anything nasty about to pop out oh, I'm not doing very well with my camera work today can't really see what I'm up to can you there we go oh well yeah 
Obviously the new bags are a fleece material. This will be all right to switch it on. It's, it's damaged though. And underneath, I'll bring it out of there. It's not too bad, the condition. The, the, I mean, not the condition, the, uh, the dirtiness of this. That can be washed. SIBO don't recommend it. Easy to replace though if I wanted a new one, but for this, I think I'll just wash this. I have actually washed the exhaust filters. It, this will be absolutely black underneath because this is the exhaust filter. So it traps a lot of carbon dust from the motor. Um, but you know, I'm, go I'm just going to replace it. But inside the bag compartment, just about see, yep, yeah, it's pretty clean, pretty clean. So I can see the little motor, which I think could be Italian made. They used to be, or they are now. I've just noticed something missing on the plug, which I'll show you. I mean, it's not going to stop the machine working, but it's a little bit, I don't know how dangerous it is that it's not there, but I'll show you. Let's just pop that back in. That's not uh, going in very well. I've got a lot of vacuums to refurbish, but winter's coming. It's now, we're now into the second day of autumn at the time of making this, but winter is on the way. Although I do like summer because it's useful the nice warm weather is good for drying vacuum parts. Right, so what else? I was going to show you something else, I can't remember. I won't take the filter off yet because my hands will be black, but you can remove the exhaust filter. There's two filter holding rings, top and bottom again, in the brown colour. And it just comes off. I've done a SIBO. If you want to know how to maintain a SIBO Felix, I have done a separate video on that. Um, right then, well, what I'm going to do, oh yes, I was going to show you the plug. Just pop the cleaner on its base. I'll turn the machine on actually without the head attached first, and then we'll see if the motor sounds okay on its own. We've got a nice, again, brown matching plug, but there is, as you can see, there's the fuse in there, but that should have a black cover. Hopefully I'll be able to find one to go over that because I don't want to replace because this is authentic being brown and I expect if I bought a replacement it would be grey or black. Okay, well I'm going to switch the machine on, on full power, but uh, I'll take it off the uh, ET1 head. There we go. So it's on at the cleaner end. I'm just going to plug in and see if this cleaner's working. Right, here goes. Well, yeah, that motor sounds fine, but what was very, very bizarre, I wish you could smell this. It smells like a vintage Hoover, you know, from the 60s. It's got that vintage smell, I wasn't expecting that. I think, I think the smell probably comes from the dirt rather than the actual cleaner or motor, doesn't it? But anyway, so there's nothing at all wrong with the sounding of the motor here. The motor is fine. So this is what was wrong. And if I was that desperate, or if I wanted to, you can buy replacement ones of these. I've seen one on Amazon, but it's about 180 pounds, but it's the same color, it's exactly right. So uh, hopefully I won't have to do that. Right, what's wrong with this power head then? <laughs> Okay, well, obviously there is something wrong with it, but for a quick check to see whether it's the power head or something in the cleaner, I'm going to bring down my SIBO D4 Premium and just connect the power head to that. 
So if, I, if the power head works with that, I'll know I've got some work to do inside the actual cleaner body. Okie dokie, I've got my Airbelt D4 Premium. So I'll just remove the head and we'll connect it directly to the handle and we'll soon find out if it's the head at fault or the cleaner. Okay, well, I think the head's okay then. Let's just try it again. I don't know if it had a loose connection. Doesn't sound 100%, but... Yeah, so what the problem could be then, folks. Now, I know, is it in this? I thought they, yeah, hmm. The problem could be here. This is where the head connects up to the cleaner. So there's some pins on the head. Can you see them, folks? A couple of pins there that connect up. So there could be a fault in that. Try that again. I'll just give it another go. You never know. Ah. Oh. I'm not sure if you noticed, but when I I thought it, this could be the case, when I removed the hose something happened and I've noticed uh, it'll be very hard for me to show you but inside here and I'm not sure if they still do it on later models I think I've got a SIBO Felix Vogue the grey one um, grey and white one that doesn't actually have this micro switch so if this micro switch is uh, seized this is what's causing I think the problem ah oh. well there's some oh no there's a micro switch hang on let's Let's see if the micro switch works. The micro switch that's inside here actually normally normally stops. Yes, it normally stops the brush going round. Hang on a minute. Let's turn it back on. So yes. I don't think there's much wrong with it. I just don't know if it's because the hose isn't in properly or the micro switch. It did look odd. I think it should be sticking out more. So basically what's happening is when I'm putting the hose back, the micro switch isn't activating. Perhaps I'm putting it in. I remember, this reminds me of a time, I bought my mum a SIBO Felix a long time ago. She still has. And she was complaining, oh, the brush doesn't go around. And I was, I, I started opening it up. I'd all, uh, and then I realized, oh, hang on. Has she got the hose in properly? And she hadn't put the hose back. So that was a simple fix. I hadn't opened it up too much. So I think that could be, let me just push that in further. This needs cleaning up inside here. But that could well be the problem. <laughs> That is the problem folks, it's something to do with the micro switch just here. I've had one of these apart before, they're pretty easy 
to take apart. Um, I did get one that had to replace the motor. I, I bought it not working and I bought a new motor for it. So I have replaced the motor. So it's, it'll be, I think it's just, it's got dirt in it and it's not sticking out as much as it should because it's obviously not activating when I push the hose back in. So it's a simple fix. I thought it would be something like that. I didn't think there'd be a, a terrible problem with the head, the motor, because they're still pretty reliable machines. But I think this, this will clean up pretty well. I'm quite pleased with it. And obviously it's gonna <laughs> be a lot better. I will, in fact, before I go, I will show you what the exhaust filter looks like. Because it will be, I can guarantee, well, it's, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought they would have replaced this at all. This will be black bright underneath. All right, I've just unplugged the cleaner to be safe, but I'm not really going to be exposed to anything live when I remove this. So you remove the two bands either side, top and bottom. As I said, if you want to know how to do this in detail, just check out my SIBO Felix maintenance video. I don't want to touch the underside of this because it will be black. If it's not black, I'm going to look very foolish. But I think it will be. <laughs> well, it's grey. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Eek. So, yes, I have successfully washed one of these. I think it was my mum's. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to replace it. I think I can get one for around £20. But yeah, and this this is all quite dirty. I just be careful not to get it on the carpet because it's carbon dust and it can mark. That should be white as well. So uh, yes, pretty pleased with this. I think I cost I think it was fifty pound I paid for it. I wanted this design. I mean, I've got loads of Sibo Felix cleaners. The classic was amongst the first of the designs to be launched. I think it was the Classic, the Fun and the Navy. I think there was three to start with. The Navy one, which is just white with a plain Navy exhaust filter is the one I bought for my mum. The Fun model, which I do want to get at some point, is orange with a, a fun designed exhaust filter. I've been watching one on eBay, an orange one for a while, and I might just bite the bullet and get it. And the good thing about SIBOs is the parts are pretty readily available and not expensive compared to Miele. Miele seem to have a monopoly on parts and don't really want you fixing the cleaners, but SIBO cleaners, in my experience, for someone with a, a modicum of electrical knowledge, they're fairly easy to fix. Um, even replacing a motor, as I've done on one of these, I found it a pretty simple job. But uh, yeah, really pleased with this. It's gonna look good. I might, I mean, it, it seems to have discolored slightly. Now, whether a little bit of um, car polish might restore it, I'm not sure. But I can, I think, I know I can get this part here. Not too expensive. I could get a new motor cover. This lower part, I could get the top part if I wanted to as well. But all in all, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's not dramatically faulty. I think it will be a simple thing to fix. Once I've taken it apart and cleaned it up, once I've reassembled it, I'm sure the little micro switch that's at fault will be fixed. The, the switch actually works. It's not, I don't need a replacement switch. It's just, I don't know if I can show you because it's all very dark and murky in there. You might just be able to see, that's where my finger is there, look, that. Can you see how it's moving? You might be able to hear the click. That's the micro switch, which should activate when the hose in, is in position, but it doesn't seem to be sticking up as much as it, it normally does. So that's the problem, because when I put my finger on it and it clicked into the on position, the ET1 head worked. Of course, it won't work in the upright position. It'll only work when it's in the operating position, but that's, that's a simple fault. And things like that put people off buying vacuum cleaners on eBay. If there's one little fault, they won't touch it. But uh, 
when I, when I saw that this wasn't working, I thought it's going to be simple. I, I was hoping it would just be a case that it had cut out and it needed to be reset or, or something even simpler. It was actually turned off. But no, it wasn't that simple, but it's still pretty simple for me anyway to sort that problem out. So there you go, that's my SIBO Felix Classic. You can still buy the Felix, of course, in many different colour variants with different coloured bodies and different coloured exhaust filters. They're all much of a muchness, I believe, apart from the black pet model, which does have an upgraded exhaust filter. It also comes with a pet hair turbo brush, but most of the others you can get it with roses on, uh, hearts, oriental flowers there's a multitude of colors and styles but they're all as i said much the same unless you go for the pet version but it is a recommended cleaner it's one i do recommend to people if they're looking for a bagged upright that's going to last more than a year or two this is my preferred choice it does actually work on this plush carpet um with the head up to the high setting and the suction turned down a bit but it does actually work unlike some of the other cleaners i've got and they're easy to service um they're just good reliable machines so yeah pick one up second hand if you've got a bit of uh, knowledge about how to clean up vacuums you can get a second hand one clean it up new filter new bags and it'll work as good as new if you have any comments or questions about the SIBO Felix, please comment below. Don't forget to check out my SIBO playlist. I've done many, many different SIBO cleaners over the years. And uh, I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.